my name is Jan Boeta, and in this section we are going to have a look at interaction quality monitoring, more specifically using the IQM workspace. The interaction quality monitoring workspace is one of the built-in workspaces that's available in the IC Business Manager, and you can add it as a workspace within your environment. Normally, if you're licensed for quality monitoring, you will automatically have this workspace show up in IC Business Manager. From the workspace itself, you can go and build new questionnaires for evaluation purposes, you can publish questionnaires, you can deactivate questionnaires, and you can view which questionnaires are available on the system, even doing previews from there. As you can see from my example over here, I currently have the questionnaire section highlighted, and you can see in the right-hand work window over here, it's giving me a list of both my published and non-published questionnaires. In the quality monitoring workspace, questionnaires are organized in folders, and you can simply add folders by right-clicking at the questionnaires level, selecting new, and then selecting new folder, giving it a name, optionally a description, clicking OK, and then adding new questionnaires within that folder. In this view, you will notice under new folder one, I have got three questionnaires, questionnaire one, two, and three. Questionnaire 1 and 2 are actually currently in published state, which means they can be used for evaluation scorecards and will then be associated with those recordings and those agents. New questionnaire 3 is a questionnaire that I am currently busy building, and even though it has been saved, it is not currently in a published state, which means it cannot be used within a scorecard environment. If I want to deactivate or unpublish a questionnaire, I can simply select the questionnaire over there, select the deactivate questionnaire option, in which case the system is going to come up with a warning stating that it will no longer be available for scorecards to be created. However, it will remain available within the historical reporting environment for any scorecards that has already been completed. From the workspace, you will also be able to preview a questionnaire. If I click on preview over here, it'll show you what the actual questionnaire would look like if you're using it in a scorecard environment. You can save the questionnaire, you can publish the questionnaire once it has been completed, and you can in actual fact also delete a questionnaire. However, if the questionnaire is currently in active state, you will have to de deactivate the questionnaire in order for you to successfully delete that specific questionnaire. Just a quick word of caution, when deleting a questionnaire, please take note of the warning window that does pop up. Deleting a published questionnaire removes all the associated recording and questionnaire data from the Interaction Center, and the data will no longer be available for historical reporting. So please be mindful, if you do delete a questionnaire, you will also lose any historical data associated with that questionnaire. In this section, we looked at interaction quality monitoring, more specifically using the quality monitoring workspace. Thank you very much for joining me and see you again soon.